The Volta Regional Minister Archibald Lecher has disclosed that the first, first phase of resettlement units to accommodate victims of last year's tidal waves in Ketu South will be ready by second quarter of 2023. According to him, an initial three to 400 victims out of the 1,096 victims would benefit from the first phase of the project. Uh, the municipal assembly has initiated the construction of 15 number two bedroom apartments at Salakope to resettle about 150 victims of tidal waves in the municipality. The project is expected to be completed by the end of the second quarter in 2023 to accommodate the first batch of victims. Details of work done so far are as follows. Uh, 110 plus of land have been secured. Contract has been awarded. The road constructed through the lagoon to the site. Water has been extended to the site. Electricity from the national grid has sent it to the site. The contractor is presently on site and has started work. The assembly uh, will continue to source for funding with the support of the community council and partner with relevant state institutions to settle all the victims displaced by tidal waves in the municipality. Uh, so far, with the support of the Ghana Red Cross, we have also erected 10 tents that uh, would accommodate, 20 tents actually, Mr. Speaker, that would accommodate um, about 150 to 200 of the displaced persons. The tents that have been erected and the first phase of the project, we expect that we'll be able to resettle about 300 to 400 of the thousand. And, and we are working with other government agencies uh, to come and help us uh, to raise funds to be able to resettle the rest of the, the displaced persons. We've completed the erection of the 20 tents that can take 150 to 200. We're going to do the 15 number, two bedroom apartments to also take care of some. And we'll still have some, but fortunately, all the displaced people uh, have either settled with the family members or they've gone back to, 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 to their houses uh, to the extent that even the tents erected uh, have not been fully uh, occupied as of now. His claims of the injection of some 2 million cities capital into the project was however challenged by the Member of Parliament for Banda Ahmed Ibrahim who sought to know the whereabouts of the sum of 10 million cities quoted by the finance minister in the 2022 budget. Mr. Speaker, when the 2022 budget was presented to this house as one of the five strong points or concerns raised by the minority caucus, one of them, the minister for finance came to this house and did a modification to the budget by saying that an amount of 10 million Ghana cities was provided in support of the tidal waves. Now the minister is here saying that it is rather the district assembly that has been able to secure only 2 million cities. What happened to the 10 million Ghana cities that was budgeted for in the 2022 budget? Uh, I'm aware that some money I don't know whether I can remember whether 5 or 10 million was in the budget for feasibility studies. Feasibility studies towards the Tada Wave, uh, not for the construction. And, and Mr. Speaker, those, uh, uh, those amounts are not released to coordinating councils. Uh, so, uh, that is what, as far as I remember, Mr. Speaker. That the 10 million Ghana cities allocated for the tidal waste have been used for feasibility studies in the, on the project. Is that what he's telling us? 